Hi there, Hadley. Well, an update on a big story that we brought you yesterday with Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince confirming that the kingdom is in talks with an unidentified global energy company to sell a stake in the state oil firm Aramco that could be worth almost $20 billion. Well, Reuters, naming names. The Sovereign Wealth Fund, China Investment Corporation, or CIC, was among those that could take a stake, according to Reuters, which described CIC as, quote, the most likely investor. Now, that same report said Aramco was talking to CIC as well as Chinese national oil companies. Remember, Sinopec, the state oil producer, and CIC were names that were both floated for investment during the IPO back in 2019. Reuters also saying that China's Silk Road Fund was approached before the pandemic about a possible investment, but it did not elaborate on those details. Look, no real surprises here. We flagged this for you yesterday. China's the largest buyer of Saudi crude and imported more oil from the kingdom than any other country last year. And what we've seen is ties between Saudi Arabia and China really deepening in recent years. So a sale could possibly make sense. It could also be well timed here with Saudi Arabia looking to take advantage of a recovery in energy prices to boost its balance sheet. Uh, earlier this month, we saw Aramco selling off a 49% stake in its oil pipelines business to a US consortium worth $12.4 billion. Reports now also say it's in talks to offload some natural gas pipelines. It really wants to bolster those state finances. And the green transition is also adding a new sense of urgency to that conversation, a new sense of urgency to invest in new sectors to diversify the economy. The issue for Aramco is that oil companies in the US and across Europe, though, are pivoting. They're outlining plans to invest billions in clean energy projects. Major institutional investors are also decarbonizing their portfolios, looking for green growth. Energy is still a critical asset, infrastructure still hot property, and China might be the one with the most amount of appetite right now. Hadley, back to you.